Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life with Prison Talk. What up? Big Kirk 916, getting down with Prison Talk. You know, I'm always reflecting and thinking about things that can help elevate me consciously, uh, mentally, um, just overall spiritually, and then I share those things with you. And um, I was just reflecting today in the gym, and I was listening to uh, some motivational stuff, and one of the things they were talking about was your perception perception of self will determine your ability to work it out. If you can control perception, you can control a person's ability to rationalize things for themselves if they so choose. Take, for instance, the people who are telling everybody else what to do, the people who say that they're the experts, the people who say that you cannot uh, speak out against what they say or else you're... You know, you're one of those. Take the number of people calling the shots. Add them up. Now subtract them from the remaining population. However many billions of people that are left. Do you mean to tell me these people have all the answers for everyone else? Could these shot callers not be deceiving you? Would it be out of question to think that they have their own agenda and not your best interest. Think about that. You know, in prison, the warden runs shit. He walks around, makes himself uh, visible at lunchtime in front of the, 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 the chow hall, or mess hall, with his goons around him, and he tries to act like he's some type of, you know, diplomat and wants to you know shake your hand or listen to your complaint and act like he really cares it's the same shit these people do out here they don't give a damn man they go up into their ivory towers just like the warden leaves the facility and goes home to his estate and laughs man about how pitiful the people are he looks at like how pitiful this grown man to be asking me for something so minuscule in my world, but I'm gonna act like I'm gonna entertain him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like I'm writing down what he's talking about like it's important. I'll maybe pretend to be interested and then I'll move on to the next guy. And there'll be a line of people like this during lunchtime waiting to talk to the warden. Just like these people out here, these politicians that have you line up and they act like they really give a damn. I'm telling you, man, you got, you got to see the big picture. I try to lace you up because I, I always try to put um, the, 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 the micro to the macro cause. And, you know, when I see the micro and how they ran shit in prison with the, with the racism, with the separation, with the politics, with you know the warden and and taking away stuff and playing with the food and playing with the visits and shaking down the sales and just doing all this stuff man i'm like this shit is crazy man and then they try to act like you know they want you to you know have value in there you got guys in there polishing the stainless on their sinks and their cells you got guys putting wax on the floors and their sales and they try to you know place ownership on some shit that the prison owns how crazy is that man these dudes act like you know they were somebody on the street they're waxing a cell <laughs> you know i never 
put any wax on any floor in any prison in any institution or polish any stainless in any prison. It ain't my shit, man. I'm passing through. You can have this shit. You guys who want to be all you can be up in here, run around like this is your shit. Man, you must not have ever been about anything on the street or cared about anything on the street if you're valuing this garbage. And see, they flip that same shit on the street. They try to get you to buy into something. And at the same time, you don't own it. But they want you to value it, but they ain't never going to give you any ownership in it. Take pride in what you do, but make sure that you start investing in yourself and in the community around you so that you can have some value. So that you can own some shit. Instead of having these people try to dictate to you how your community, how your schools, how your neighborhood should be ran, you should be telling them we're and they've been complaining their whole life and yet they know that this is something that is habitual with them. They don't want to change. But yet they want you to continue to entertain them. Makes no sense, man. It makes no sense and um <laughs> The best thing you could do is block their number, distance yourself, because all they're doing is, is um, putting negative energy into your universe. And I have to check myself from time to time because I'll say something and then I think about like, man, where'd that thought come from? Who have I been talking to that put this you know, low frequency vibe into my thought pa pattern, my thought process. And uh, I immediately try to go back, or I don't try to, I do go back and put something positive into the universe to counter that which I said that was negative. So just watch out for these people, man. They're all out, they're all over, you know, it's the majority of the people out there because these people don't realize that they're negative because they never were taught how to be positive because they don't have any spirituality. See, spirituality, people get it mixed up with religion, but it's very different. Spirituality is a, is a, is a whole, um, it's a whole nother state of being. And um, it, it's, you know, that's what is lacking, I feel, in society and humanity. But that's another conversation. I've talked about that before. But, you know, without that spirituality, finding the happiness and being able to recognize the negativity is difficult for most people. And most people don't want to, like I said, once again, take the time to recognize it because then they don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> if they can't talk about something negative, their conversation is pretty, it's, it's moot. They don't have nothing to uh, contribute. So... Um, stay positive, man. Avoid these people and, um, you know, walk around with a smile on your face. You know, say hi to people. And it still it makes me feel good when I, I'm out here in public in different places in Arizona and, you know, a stranger walks by and they actually say hi or make eye contact. And that's how it used to be. That's what we need to get back to. Just that good feeling of positive and not focusing on so much negativity and figuring out what we could do to better ourselves rather than complain about what we're not trying to change. Complaining ain't doing nothing. Why don't you come up with a solution to something? Big Herc 916. I'm Big Hurt, and I have over a decade of experience in the prison system. Yeah, I've done a lot of time, made a lot of stupid mistakes, but that's why I'm here with you today, educating you on the Mastermind program by Fresh Out. See, they don't give you a manual when you go to jail on how to survive. They don't tell you how to go take a shower, where to sit at when you go to chow, what to do when you have mail call, how to handle your commissary. See, we cover that and a multitude of other topics that are very important. Because if you do the wrong thing, you can get your damn wig split. 
We have over 100 million views as of date on our YouTube channel, but we've put and condensed all this knowledge into this mastermind program so that you can provide your client with a winning chance. Do yourself a favor and your client a favor and sign them up for our program so they don't have to get their wig split and they can make it out alive.